Another portfolio review here on the channel. Today we'll be picking up portfolios from Reddit and I found a couple of interesting ones and we'll go through the advice that other developers or Redditors or however they are called gave to the authors of these portfolios and we'll see what we can learn. So I found uh, this guy and he has this portfolio that goes to goldenratio.dev. I check him out on LinkedIn and he doesn't have a job yet. So we'll actually see what his whole spiel is about. So golden ratio, he's explaining what the golden ratio is. It's extremely uh, uninteresting. I think he has um, an animation over here. That's pretty cool. But this is extremely uninteresting, extremely irrelevant to the position of a front-end developer. I think in my opinion, this should come first. Um, so he should say, hi, my name is Jack Choi. I'm a full stack developer with a passion for responsive UI, UX design and database engineering. That's cool. All right, so these are the projects. Okay, let's look at the projects and that's how we judge a person nowadays. So we have snacks. Uh, let's have a look, view website. In my opinion, if you have a, a portfolio and then your applications are deployed on a different website, which you should do, you should open a new tab rather than redirecting it to you know, a totally different website. So this is a simple food tracking app. So I guess this is like my fitness pal. I don't know if you're aware of this application. Basically you can track whatever food you're eating. So then you can see a breakdown of like macronutrients, micronutrients and calories at the end of the day. So you can lose some weight. So macaroni and cheese, let's type in, I don't know, uh, capricciosa pizza. I think it's double S. Okay, I'm gonna search for this. Uh, this doesn't work, so this is pretty useless. Uh, let's try to sign up. <sighs> Give me, let's say, Christian. I literally doxed myself. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Register. Okay, probably this is not in use anymore. By the way, this is the first time when I see these portfolios. This is the first time when I interact with these uh, applications. So basically you will see like what a recruiter would do. Actually a recruiter would not even try to, you know, uh, sign up or log in or any of this stuff. They'll be like, what the hell is this? This doesn't work. This is useless, bye. And they'll also close your website. But let's keep going. Let's, let's have a look at the other application. Uh, visit website. Let's open it in a new tab. Let's have a look. Pizza tutorial, so probably there is ah pizza tooth. Okay, that's the name of the website. Click here, pepperoni. It's pretty cute. Add to cart, e-commerce, typical e-commerce website. This doesn't take me to the cart. Sign in. Why would I sign in? Doesn't make any sense. Appetizers. This doesn't work. This doesn't work. Uh, or maybe I'm stupid. I don't know, but I cannot go to the next page. Ah, okay. Server error. That makes sense. Uh, let's see if this is responsive. It is. I'm gonna give him props for that. Designed by Golden Ratio. Okay. Bro, trust me, nobody's gonna steal this website from you. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah. So, I personally don't recommend you to create websites to put them in your portfolio. If you want to become a software developer, you should understand that there is a difference between websites and web apps. If you want to get a job, you should build web apps, not websites. If you want to become a freelancer, then you should build websites. But in my opinion, if you want to become a freelancer and build websites, you shouldn't build websites by yourself. You should use uh, page builders and whatnot so you can you know, deliver work fast. But when it comes to becoming a freelancer and selling websites, it's not really about the HTML and CSS. It's about like the outcome of having a website like that. I've made a video about this in the past. Let's look at this invoice app. This is something that I would actually uh, like to see if it works properly. And by the way, look, if you decide to use one of these services like Versal, like on the render, I think I've seen a few times like Heroku, but I don't think anyone is using Heroku nowadays. 
if you can i highly recommend you to pay for the pro version don't use the free stuff because you are limited they're not fast maybe sometimes the servers are going to sleep and then if a recruiter clicks on your website and it takes like two minutes to load because you are cheap and didn't want to pay 10 15 dollars a month to have like speed well what does that say about you you are losing an opportunity because your website went to sleep for one minute okay so just think about it it's not a great return on investment if you if you don't uh, pay for these services now another website let's see that's the that's like a team that i see a lot uh, with aspiring developers they try to make a lot of things but what i'm always recommending you is to make one thing for a very long period of time so this guy has been looking for a job for four years from what i've seen uh, at least on his linkedin and imagine working four years on one thing i mean not even four years let's say six months on one thing that that application is going to be absolutely insane um i'm working on an app myself for a few months here and there whenever i have time and i wish i had more time to build it because in two three months i would absolutely build a monster of an app but yeah this is way better than the pizza one so i would totally remove the pizza one uh that's kind of useless yeah this is way better i don't know if this is a template or not but i'm rating this one so this is like seven out of ten and then we have this portfolio i'm not gonna look at this i go to mobile mobile version there's like a huge space of nothing you see unused space for what poor ui ux and he has a passion for it so this goes to show that if you have a passion for something that doesn't mean you're good at it right you have to have the right skills and understand the patterns but let's see what people are saying in the comments so lazy load the skeleton in place of your portfolio project images as the images load to prevent content shifting when complete that's a good point i haven't seen that uh, uh the images are too large i didn't check that uh, i don't like the yellow but it looks solid i don't like yellow and i don't think it looks solid but that's kind of you see probably a junior developer right a junior developer is always going to hype up another junior developer and then you will think that oh i'm doing so well i don't know why uh the job market doesn't want me because you're hyped up by the wrong person you know what i mean good comments already aside from that you're doing well the projects look better than many aspiring junior developers seem to think they'll get hired with i disagree but i don't know what this guy saw so probably this guy saw some terror out there you know uh let's see i have skimmed through your github repos and have two comments on most repos you only have one commit in my honest opinion it will raise two questions with recruiters do you usually use git and did you code all this yourself um recruiters will not understand that or most of them they don't know the difference between java and javascript one of them asked me hey do you know typescript i said yeah okay do you know javascript and i'm like listen <laughs> Let me explain you how this works. Um, but let's see. When you have more than one commit, usually you name them second commit, third commit, and so on. A commit should be named after what you did during that commit. I suggest looking into atomic commits or even conventional commits. Really good advice here. Very impressive for someone looking for their first job. Portfolio looks better than the work some of my coworkers do. That goes to show that the barrier is very low and this should actually get you excited because most aspiring developers and most developers in general are not good. So if you come in and you have the skills, you can actually, you know, get paid, but you just have to have the skills. Um, but again, I don't know this guy's experience. Looks looking very solid, just need some polish, some areas for quick, easy wins, add a five icon, add some sort of loading indicator. I agree with this. I would personally add a color to the top nav bar. Okay, whatever. The fact that you have a portfolio, portfolio is already a great step, by the way. Seriously, the amount of devs I've turned down for jobs because they didn't have a GitHub with a couple of good repos on it, it's amazing to me. And this, again, goes to the point that I was making in pretty much all my videos. Like, stop listening uh, people that are complaining online about the job market. Stop listening to aspiring developers. You don't know anything about them. You don't know if they have a portfolio. You don't know if they have a resume. You don't know what they wrote in their resume. You don't know the quality of their work. So stop taking whatever they say online as truth, as dogma, because you don't know anything about them. And most people who are, you know, who suck at their job, 
they like to complain a lot and the internet made it very easy for people to complain right you have an avatar you don't put your real name you can say anything you want and you are getting influenced by these people anyway let's go to the next person that we found here i would like some feedback on the portfolio let's have a look at the portfolio this is cute okay so i'm already expecting something amazing from her because i really like this design i i i think this is very quirky and this is where the terror starts don't put your personal website as a project this is like i was lazy to make something so here is my personal website and then i end up in a an infinite loop you know what i mean so <laughs> don't do that this is super lazy i would not recommend it anyway let's look at the Yu-Gi-Oh cards i never really played Yu-Gi-Oh. i think i played duel masters i think that's how it was uh, how it was called uh and yeah some pictures great what should i see there find your amiibo what the what are amiibos thank you for answering this question for me and instead of sending me to another page you could actually create some model where you can tell me what amiibos are uh, let's search for mario at least she's helping me find something let's see if this works okay it works so can i click on this there is no routing no nothing just some pictures in a flex container so yeah that's not much and it shows you know love the illustrations yeah the first part is pretty good it's adorable right but again these are these applications don't require react you can make this with html and css that would be way more impressive uh, because react is overpowering uh, the need that she has for these applications you know and it's a pity but again this is the state of junior developers in 2024 in 2025 2026 2027 and look you don't have to go through this process by yourself you don't have to spend four or five years applying to jobs when you're not qualified and just being bitter and wasting your time really what you have to do is to get a mentor that can help you along the way because this is going to be tough a tough journey a simple journey but a tough journey so why make it harder than it's supposed to be so if you want me to help you click on the first link in the description and look at the testimonials of the people that i worked with we have testimonials on youtube right now with people that got hired now um, and apply for the mentorship see if you are the right fit for what we do uh, again you're not pressured into anything if you're not the right fit i'm gonna recommend you to go to a boot camp actually i'm never gonna recommend you that because <laughs> you're gonna be scammed but i'm gonna tell you hey maybe go and do this online course or maybe coding is not for you so apply for the mentorship see if you're the right fit and i wish you a great day peace out